for me, any fish that you're gonna you're gonna clean, it definitely pays off to bleed them out ahead of time. So I'll just give them a bonk on the head, and then I'm just gonna come right underneath here, right underneath the gills. Get through that. I'll just cut that out. See the blood's running out there. Then I'll put them in the live well where it's where it's running. They'll bleed out. They'll be nice and clean when we're ready to take the flays. So we're gonna try cleaning up a few of these white bass. They've already been bled. So now what I'm gonna do is, of course, these things have big bones, they've got tough scales, they've got kind of a tough hide. So having an electric knife with you makes a makes a real difference. This is a lithium ion, so I'm just gonna take the take the flays off here. So one thing about these white bass is they definitely have a have a, a fatty and they've got a really distinct mud line. So I'll show you when I take this skin off of this guy here. The red meat in it. That's what I'm talking about. You can see that that's not tasty at all. So you can notice I didn't go real close to the skin just to remove some of that. So all right, so we'll do a little finish work on these beauties here. Get the eppies out so there's this nice cleavage point. Feel the eppies, we'll split the fish right through there. We'll just take and with the martini here, trim this red off. So this is where all that funky taste is coming from is this right here. Boom. White bass fillets. Well, I'm not just gonna leave you hanging. Here's a simple blackening recipe I've used for many fish. And the firmer the fish, the better. This is awesome. Start by dipping the fillets in melted butter. Then cover the fillets with blackening seasoning. You can make your own or pick some up at just about any grocery store. Then place the fillets into a very hot cast iron pan and add a bit more melted butter on top of the fillets. They should start smoking as soon as they hit the pan. Flip them after a minute or two, and boom, you've got blackened fish. Serve with some lemon wedges, rice or whipped potatoes, and some fresh grilled spring asparagus, and you are set.